Hello and welcome. This is the final of the 1987 Challenge of the South. We began with 27 contestants, cut them down to nine for our semi-finals, and now we have but three finalists. As it happens, it's an all-male final. Let's meet the surviving three. Our finalists are firstly Richard Redicliffe, a life assurance underwriter from Bournemouth. Next we have Edward Town, a schoolmaster from Rochester. And lastly, Geoffrey Reynolds, who's a retired factory worker from Sandersted. These are our finalists on Challenge of the South. Well, those are the players and this is the prize. Our Challenge of the South trophy, especially designed in glass by the artist Deborah Fladgate, who comes from near Farnham. So now, to find the winner of our first series, let's begin with round one, general knowledge. This is a buzzer round uh, with two points for each correct answer, but if you give a wrong answer, we penalise you by awarding a point to your opponents. You have five seconds in which to answer, and we keep going until we hear this sound. So, hands on buzzers, but don't answer until I call your name. What is the name of the electric tricycle launched by Sir Clive Sinclair Edward? C5. Correct. What is the earliest date that Easter can be? Nobody's going to risk it. The 22nd of March. Which acid is the basis of vinegar? Geoffrey. Acetic acid. Correct. We've got a picture for you now. This is the Cathedral of St Basil the Blessed. In which city is it? Edward. Moscow. Correct. In Red Square. Which pioneer of utilitarianism founded the Westminster Review in 1823? Edward. John Stuart Mill. No, Jeremy Bentham. I've got some music for you now. To which of the planets does this piece of music by Holst refer? No offers. It was Uranus, the magician. Florencio Cap Campomanes is the president of which body? Florencio Campomanes. Geoffrey. FIFA. FIFA. No. He's the president of the World Chess Federation, FIDE. Another picture for you. Who is this former British Prime Minister? Geoffrey. Balfour. Yes, A.J. Balfour. Who wrote the poem A Shropshire Lad? Jeffrey. A. Hausman. Correct. Now an anagram. Your anagram is a pure one and your clue is continentally speaking. Richard. European. Correct. A pure one becomes European. Which 19th century Carmelite nun was known as the Little Flower of Jesus? No. Saint Therese of Lisieux. And now a picture for you. This man's autobiography is Sparks Fly. Who is he? Edward? Lord Chapel. Yes, Frank Chapel. The Lancaster bomber was developed from which previously unsuccessful model? It was called the Manchester. Tony Orlando was the lead singer. Richard? Dawn. Yes, uh, of the pop group Dawn in the 1970s. And at the end of that general knowledge round, the scores are as follows. Richard has six. Edward has seven, and also with seven, we have Geoffrey. <laughs> Straight on now to round two. This is an individual round. We asked each contestant to choose his own specialist subject. They've already been quizzed on two special subjects each, but they've had to find a third for the final. And the first to go is the person with the lowest score, and that's you, Richard. Now, what have you entertained us with before? The Olympic Games and British pop music of the 70s. Uh, what have you chosen to do now? The history of Wimbledon. You have indeed, and you've got one and a half minutes to answer questions on that subject, starting now. Whom did Bjorn Borg beat to win his first singles title in 1976? Elena Stasi. Correct. Which American became the youngest player to win a match when she beat Sue Rollinson in 1981? Cathy Rinaldi. Correct. Whom did Spencer Gore beat to become the first ever Wimbledon champion in 1877? Haddon. No, William Marshall. In which year was the tie-break first used at Wimbledon? 1971. Correct. When Henri Leconte reached the semi-finals in 1986, he was the first Frenchman to do so since 1946. Who was the player on that occasion? Yves Petra. 
Yvonne Petra, right? Who was Gonzalez playing in 1969 when Wimbledon staged its longest ever match, a total of 112 games? Charlie Passerelle. Correct. In which year was the challenge round for the men's singles abolished? 1922. Yes. Yvonne Corley won Wimbledon as a mother in 1980. Who was the last mother to do so before her? Margaret Court. Uh, no, Dorothea Lambert Chambers in 1914. Which German player reached the finals unseeded in 1967 when he lost to John Newcomb? Wilhelm Bungert. Yes. Who was the only member of the British royal family to play at Wimbledon? Prince Michael of Kent. No, the Duke of York, the future George VI in 1926. Who partnered Billie Jean King to win the mixed doubles title in 1967, 71, 73 and 74? Fred Stolley. No, Owen Davidson. Who won every title he competed for in the 1939 championships but never returned to defend any of them? Bobby Riggs. Yes, Bobby Riggs. And at the end of your specialist round, Richard, your score's gone up to 22. <laughs> Next to go is uh, Edward. Now, what have you done before, Edward? British Birds and the Wars of the Roses. And this time it's going to be British politics since 1945. Okay, you've got a minute and a half on that subject, starting now. Who resigned as Minister of Agriculture over his department's handling of the Critchell Down affair in 1954? Don't know. Sir Thomas Dugdale. Who won the Orpington by-election for the Liberals in March 1962? Eric Lubbock. Correct. Who became the Home Secretary in succession to Reginald Maudling after the latter had resigned because of the Poulson affair? Robert Carr. Who defeated Anaran Bevan to become deputy leader of the Labour Party under Hugh Gateskill in 1955? Harold Wilson. No, James Griffiths. About which body which came into being under an act of 1954 did the Archbishop of York say, for the sake of our children we should resist it? I don't know. The ITA, the Independent Television Authority. Which phrase forever associated with Harold Macmillan did he use in a speech on the financial situation on July the 20th, 1957? You've never had it so good. All right. Who won a by-election in Glasgow Govan for the Scottish National Party in November 1973? I don't know. Margot MacDonald. What was Harold Wilson's first ministerial post to which he was appointed in 1947? Board of Trade. President of, yes. Who was the MP for Nelson and Cohn, whose campaign led to the eventual abolition of the death penalty? Sidney Silverman. Yes. Which was the first British colony in Africa to gain independence in 1957? Gold Coast. Yes, or Ghana. Whose selection as Labour candidate by the local constituency party in Knowsley North was then quashed by the National Executive Committee in October 1986? Huckfield. Yes, Leslie Huckfield, I'll give you that. And at the end of your specialist round, Edward, your score's gone up to 19. <laughs> right, Geoffrey, now you've talked to us before about uh, Sir Francis Drake and yep. Marlborough. Yep. Who's it going to be this time? Bismarck. Count Otto von Bismarck, you've got a minute and a half on his history starting now. Where was Bismarck born on April the 1st, 1815? Schoenhausen. Correct. Which university did Bismarck go up to in 1832 in order to study law in preparation for the Prussian diplomatic service? Göttingen. Yes. To which city was Bismarck sent as ambassador in 1859 in his own phrase to be put in cold storage? St. Petersburg. Yes. What was the famous telegram that the Minister of War, Albrecht von Roon, sent to Bismarck on September the 17th, 1862? Don't know. Uh, danger in delay, hurry. In order to defeat the Social Democrats, Bismarck became the first European statesman to introduce a system of what in the 1880s? Uh, old age pensions and other. Yes, Social Security will do. What name is given to Bismarck's attempt to subject the Roman Catholic Church to state controls in the newly founded German Empire? Kurtzkamp. Yes, meaning struggle. What is the name of the English girl whom Bismarck fell in love with and in pursuit of whom he went absent without leave from his posting in Aachen in 1837? Uh, Miss Lewis. No, Isabella Lorraine Smith. What was the title that William II conferred on Bismarck when he retired and which he refused to use? Uh, Duke of Lauenburg. Yes. Who was the leader of the National Liberals whom in 1877 Bismarck invited to become a Prussian minister and virtually his deputy? Uh, Benningson. Yes, Rudolf von Benningson. Against whom did Bismarck launch a violent press campaign in 1888 in the belief that Frederick III was planning to make him Chancellor? Um, Alexandra Battenberg. Yes, Prince of Bulgaria. Whom, whom in 1850 did Bismarck describe as a German power that is fortunate enough to rule over foreign peoples? Uh, Austria. Yes, correct. And at the end of your specialist round, Geoffrey, your score's gone up to 25.
the end of part one of the final, the scores stand like this. Edward has 19, uh, Richard has 22, and in the lead with 25 points at this moment in the programme is Geoffrey Reynolds. Right, we're going to take a break now, but we'll be back in a few minutes for our wildcard and local knowledge rounds. Meanwhile, here's another anagram of a place in the south. Do bring fridge. See if you know the answer when we return with part two of our Challenge of the South final. Welcome back to our Challenge of the South final and uh, welcome especially to our viewers in Do Bring Fridge, which is really Fording Bridge in disguise. Ha -ha. Now then, at the end of part one, the scores were as follows. Edward had uh, 19, Richard was second with 22 and in the lead with 25 was Geoffrey. So on to round three, the wild card round. You know that I hold up six cards uh, representing a wide range of subjects art and literature, sport, science and natural history, geography, history and the performing arts. And the first to go and the first to have choice is the person with the lowest score at the moment, who is Edward. Now then, Edward, which one of these are you going to plump for? Ace. You'll try the ace and of course you can have a second choice if you don't like sport. I'll try the jack. You'll try, <laughs> you'll get rid of sport. You'll try the jack and there's no getting out of this one, whatever it is, it is geography. So, you've got a minute and a half to answer questions on geography, starting now. Liverpool, Parramatta and Cronulla are suburbs of which Australian city? Melbourne. No, Sydney. Mount Logan is the highest point in which country? Canada. Yes. At which Californian city is the Queen Mary, now based as museum, hotel and tourist centre? San Francisco. No, Long Beach. Which country which gained its independence in 1977 became a French colony in 1881 called French Somaliland and was renamed the territory of the Afars and Issas in 1967? Djibouti. Yes. What name is given to the area of salt waste in India near the border with Pakistan? The Thar Desert. No, the Ran of Kutch. On which river does Montevideo stand? The River Plate. Yes. What, geographically speaking, is a levee, L-E-V-E-E? -E -E? It's a bank protecting a river on its lower reaches. Yes, a river embankment. What is the name of the range of hills which lie immediately to the south of Edinburgh? The, the, the Pentland Hills. Yes. What is the name of the two mountain ranges which lie along the east and west coasts of southern India? The Western Ghats, the Eastern Ghats. Yes, the Ghats. On a hill behind which city does the Patala Palace stand? Uh, Lhasa. Yes, in Tibet. Of what rock are the Chiltern Hills composed? Uh, chalk. Yes. What was the former name of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu? Um, Uttar Pradesh. No, Madras. What is the principal city of the South Island of New Zealand? Christchurch. Yes, it is. And at the end of your wild card round, your score, Edward has gone up to 37. Completely different set of cards for Richard uh, to choose from. Which one's it going to be, Richard? I'll try the king, please. You'll try the king? Yes. What would you like it to be? Sport. <laughs> well, it's geography. Uh, would you like... It's geography. Um, what do you think? No, I will uh, risk the nine. You will risk the nine. Well, what was it you wanted? Sport. <laughs> it's sport, <laughs> and you've got a minute and a half on sport starting now. Who did Dennis Taylor beat to win the World Snooker Championship in 1985? Steve Davis. Yes. Which horse won the Derby, St. Ledger and the 2000 Guineas in 1970? Nijinsky. Yes. Which British boxer fought Rocky Marciano for the World Heavyweight title in May 1955? Um, Brian London. No, Don Cockle. Which club did Graham Taylor manage before he moved to Watford? Uh, don't know. Lincoln City. How many events are there in the men's Olympic gymnastics? Seven. No, six. What is the highest Dan in judo? White. No, twelfth. Oh. Which is the oldest of the classic horse races? 
decent ledger. Yes. Who was the last man to captain England on his test debut? Ted Dexter? No, Tony Lewis. In which sport did Dr. Benjamin Spock of baby book fame compete for the USA in the 1924 Olympics? Swimming. No, rowing. Where were the tennis events held in the 1908 Olympics? 1908. Wimbledon. Yes. In the, in the year James Hunt became world motor racing champion, who won five Grand Prix but only, became, but only came second? Nicky Lauda. Yes. For which county did Alan Border play cricket in 1986? Essex. Yes. In the game of bowls, what is the minimum distance in feet that the jack must travel? 20. Note 25. Who defeated Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas in June 9... Who defeated Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas in June 1986? Uh, Lopez. No, Steve Cruz. And at the end of your wild card round, Richard, your score's gone up to 34. <laughs> what would you like, Geoffrey? Well, I'll try number nine, I think. What would you like it to be? Oh, uh... Uh, history. History, knowing you. Well, it's a sort of history. It's science and natural history. I'll take a chance on that. You will? Yeah. All right. You've got a minute and a half on science and natural history, history starting now. What term is given to the bending of a light ray as it crosses a boundary between two media of different optical density? Refraction. Yes. Saxifraga ambrosa is the botanical name for which wild flower frequently found on bomb sites? What is its common name? Don't know. London Pride, or none so pretty. What name is given to the point at which all of a body's weight appears to act? Fulcrum. Note the centre of gravity or mass. What name is given to the first leaf or pair of leaves of a newly germinated seed? No. The cotyledon. Montagues, marsh and hen are all types of which bird? Harrier. Yes. What is the more common name for daphnia, which form the staple diet of many fish? Um. Seaweed. No, water flea. Which type of grass is especially used for binding sand dunes? Marum. Yes. In computers, what do the initials CPU stand for? Don't, don't know. Central processing unit. Which planet is on average 142 million miles from the sun? Uh, Jupiter. No, Mars. What is the name given to the temperature at which the saturated vapour pressure of a liquid equals the pressure of the atmosphere above it? Do you point... No, boiling point. Which comet, which turned out to be something of a disappointment when it appeared in 1974-5, was the first to be observed in space by Skylab and Soyuz? No, no. Kohutek. What is the largest butterfly native to Britain found mainly on the Norfolk Broads? The, um... Purple Emperor. No, the Swallowtail. At the end of your wild card round, Geoffrey, your score's gone up to 31. Right, we've had a slight move around on the scores. Geoffrey has 31 now, Richard has 34, and in the lead at the moment with 37 points is Edward Town. <laughs> so now the final round in Challenge of the South, after which we have our winner, or if we don't, we'll have to have a tiebreaker. <laughs> this is a buzzer round where we test our finalists on their local knowledge. So, hands on buzzers and away we go. In which town was the 1986 Liberal Party Conference held? Richard. Eastbourne. Yes. What is the name of the headland which forms the southernmost point of the Isle of Purbeck? Edward. St Old Helms. Yes, St. or St Albans. In which building did Mrs Thatcher and President Mitterrand sign the agreement... Edward. The chapter house at Canterbury Cathedral. Yes, the agreement for the Channel Tunnel. We've got a picture for you now. This is the churchyard at Minstead, Hampshire. Which famous writer is... Geoffrey. Conan Doyle. Yes, Arthur Conan Doyle. Near which resort are the St Clement's Caves, the most extensive cave system in South East England, which were once smugglers' store chambers? Near which resort? And I'll tell you, it's St Hastings. Uh, Hastings or St Leonard's. At which sport is 18-year-old Alison Fisher from Peace Richard? Stoker. Yes. Which of the pre-Raphaelites is buried at Birchington-on-Sea near Margate? Nobody? Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Another picture for you. This building in Whitstable is the store for a product for which the area is famous. What is the product? At Whitstable? It's Oysters. A famous artist and one-time resident of Hastings, he did the paintings for the film The Horse's Mouth. Who is he? You're not... Jeffrey. Joyce Carey. 
No, he wrote the book. It was John Bratby. Who murdered Doreen Marshall in Branksome Cheen, Bournemouth in... Ninth <coughs> Richard. Hume. No, Neville Heath. Which royal personage endowed the Henley Regatta with the prefix royal? It was Prince Albert. I've got a picture for you. Evelyn Waugh attended this public school, Edward. Lancing College. Yes. Who, according to John Betjeman, was furnished and burnished by Aldershot's son? It was Joan Hunter Dunn. What links the island of Portland to the mainland? Richard. Chesil Beach. Chesil Bank, yes. I've got a picture for you. This castle in Kent is famous for its gardens, Edward. Scotney Castle. Yes. Which heavy industry reached its peak in Sussex in the early 17th century? Geoffrey. Iron. Iron smelting, yes. Born in Chichester in 1946, this actor first worked as an electrician at the theatre there. He played the title role in the TV series Private Schultz. Who is he? It was Michael El... I can't allow that. It was Michael Sorry. Elphick. Which former Southampton and Portsmouth footballer has published a book called... Richard. Mike Shannon. Uh, Mick Shannon, yes. The book was called Man on the Run. This cathedral... I've got a picture for you now. This cathedral's library houses one of the... Richard. Salisbury. Yes. What is the alternative name for the Dorset River Trent? Richard. Piddle. Yes. Which cricket commentator was born in... Richard. John Arlott. Yes, in Basingstoke. Which Kent bowler became the youngest player to be picked for England for 30 years when he made his debut on the 1979-80 tour of Australia? Richard. Graham Dilly. Yes, which Berkshire town lies near the confluence of the rivers Kennet and Lambourne? Richard. Newbury. Yes, correct. And at the end of the contest, the scores are as follows. Geoffrey Reynolds has 36. Edward Town has 47, and the winner of Challenge of the South, with 53 points, without a shadow of a doubt, is Richard Redicliffe. <laughs> well done, and breathtaking finish there. To present our Challenge of the South trophy, we're pleased to have with us the Chairman of Television South, Lord Boston of Faversham. Nigel, on behalf of all of us in TVS, I would like to congratulate Richard on his uh, great win and to thank all of our contestants for the exciting contest they've given us. There's a certain amount of luck, but also a great deal of expertise, and you, Richard, have certainly shown that tonight. And on behalf of all of us, the trophy for the challenge. Thank you much indeed. Thank you. Well, there you are. Richard's won the clear winner. And thank you, Lord Boston, for presenting the trophy. And thank you to everyone who has taken part in this series of Challenge of the South. I hope you've enjoyed this first series and that we'll see you again on a new Challenge of the South soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>